Hi, good evening to all. I'm Gaurav Pandey, your Gaurav here. And here in this particular live, what we'll discuss uh, are another problem statement, right? In a same series. And series everybody already knows, right? So we were planning to wrap all the topics which are necessary for the placement and for the coding. And so far, we have completed our math series, arrays, array with two pointer, array frequency counter, strings, then a string how you can use as a frequency counter, then array list, then hash map, right? So now we are running on this particular series. We have also solved few problem statement. Today we'll solve another problem statement, a very important problem. But before I begin, I just want to know, am I audible and visible to all? Am I audible and visible to all? Yeah, I just can't see the people today. Yeah, what is the region of less attendance? Let me know in charts. You people are not getting notified. Okay, I'm audible. Cool. Thank you, Sreta. So now the problem statement that we have is this majority element. And this particular problem already has been asked in Amazon, Microsoft, Adobe, Apple, Google, Facebook, Oracle, Snapchat, X, that previously it was Twitter, Uber, and Yahoo. So yeah, already this problem has been appeared in so many companies. And anyhow, this will cover our main agenda that you must understand how you utilize, how you can utilize the hash map in Java to solve the problems. Or we, we can say like an ordered map in C++ or dictionary in Python. Right. So that's what you'll learn. So we'll rapidly we'll go to the problem statement and we'll understand what is the problem statement. And then trust me, if you're watching this whole series from starting, now the time has came when you can form at least half of the logic. Right. That time already has been came. So now if you'll see this, the problem statement we have majority element given an array nums of size n, return the majority elements. Majority element. So basically, what you need to return the element that has been appeared maximum times, we want to return that particular element. You remember we have already solved this type of problem by using array of frequency counter, but that time, that time the constraint was 0 to n or 1 to n. But this time you will have the values from minus 10 to the power 9 till 10 to the power 9. Means array of frequency counter is not applicable here. Then what should the another good approach? Right? That is our hash map. That is our hash map because you know that hash map is also used for the counting the frequencies, right? So how you can utilize it? Look at this array we have. What I can do is that I can use these elements as a key, right? And value as a frequency. So basically, if in a map I'm just checking for the three, three is available, then I'll increase by one. Otherwise, I'll, what I'll do, I'll just make it as frequency by one, right? So what will happen at the end? Eventually, I will have all the frequencies, and I can check which element is having the frequency of more than n by two times. That's what they have mentioned. The majority element is the element that appears more than half of the length, right? So you may assume that majority element always exists in the array. Means at any cost, at any cost, you will have that element. Cool, yeah. So we'll go to the slides. They will understand that how actually you can solve this particular problem. Yeah, you know, I was continuously waiting that one day will come and everybody will come join on time, right? We will have amazing response and I can deliver really resources which are really helpful for the people, right? But I don't know why why people aren't joining on time. Nobody's here. Every mistake has a consequences and people have to face it, right? So we can't do anything. Here, we have this array, 3, 1, 3, for example, and I want to utilize this as a hash map, right? So how I can use, I know that people are writing hash map here. So why, why? Because they already are following the series, right? So here we can have a hash map. So they know what kind of problem we can solve using hash map, right? So here what you will do is that you will access your one element. Now check in this hash map. Is this available? No, this is not available. Then put it. I'm making it frequency one. Again, get another element from the array. Check is this available in the map? No, this is not. Then put it with the one frequency. Again, access is this available? Yes, this is available. If this is available, increase its frequency by one. So three is available. We'll increase its frequency by one, which means that we will have a final map pointing out like this. Then what we can do, we can iterate this hash map and we can check which element is having the frequency more than half of it, more than the half of the length of it, right? So the length is here, the three. So basically the element which is having more than 1.5 frequency 
we can say we can say that is the majority element so basically we will see this three is having the frequency of two so this will be our final output right so three is our final output and i hope that this is making sense to everybody please tell me is the logic clear to all because now i trust you are on a level where you can form at least partial logic and trust me at the end of the series i don't know this will be continuing or not but if the series continues then at the end of the series everybody everybody will have that level of confidence they can solve any kind of problem in tsm on lead code in every coding interview right but again here up to you guys what do you want actually so now here now here we'll go we'll implement the code first in java then in c plus or then in python so here i'll be using hash map this is how we define hash map in java right so i'll use integer and as a key and integer as a value right integer as a value the name i'll give it to like map you can give anything right? that is not a problem so hash map and here you know i can do this by for checking process in the map i can utilize two methods one method is that contains key that everybody already knows because in the recent videos we have used that same method today i want to tell you another method that is gate or default so gate or default is a method in java basically if a particular element is not available you can put a default value that will make it zero so you can probably do this in a particular single line so i'll iterate over my array by using for each loop so i have here num i'm taking as a value and num is our array so num will be the value from the array one by one we'll get and now i'll utilize i'll utilize our gate or default method so basically gate or default what it says i just want to cover new concept that's it otherwise you can use dot contains key okay if that is available in key job one otherwise put it in the map so that logic everybody already knows right so cool yaar now here get or default get what get what tell me this num the value i'm getting right if this is available then give me that value or in key job one otherwise put a default value put a default value okay so default value is zero means if num is not available in the hash map this particular thing will give you Uh, like I just want to change it here. Ah, uh, here how I will put map dot put. I need to in case right. So num comma. Now I can access the value. If value is available, I'll get that value and I can increase by one. Otherwise, otherwise this map or this map dot get dot default will give me zero. So zero plus one becomes what one. So I will have the frequency as one, right? So either I'll get the frequency from the map and I'll increase by one and update the map. Or the second thing, if the value is not available, I will have this zero plus one. Means I'll make a frequency of one of that particular element. I'll put it back into the map. Right. So that's what I can do. Cool, yeah. A uh, new thing probably for everybody, right? And then after that, once you have already stored the frequencies of each element, now I want to check the maximum frequency, right? That will be my element. So for that purpose, I'll iterate over my map. But how I can do this? Probably I'll convert. I'll, I'll Convert all the keys into an array. I can utilize again for each loop here. So, for example, I I have one variable key and colon and the map dot key set. Everybody already knows, right? Key set. Everybody knows. This will give you the array of all the keys. This will give you the array of all the keys. And now you're iterating over keys of that map, right? So now here you can check if map dot gate gate what key, which means that it will give you the frequency value, right? With the help of key, you'll access the value. If this value is greater than greater than what? Tell me nums dot length by length by what? Tell me two. This is what they have mentioned and by two. So length by two. This is greater than in that case. In that case, I can say I'll return my key and key was actual value, right? And at the end, anyhow, this will work at any cost. But because this is Java, you have to return something. So at the end, you can return minus one, and that's when it will never come. But just for the syntax purpose, you have to write anything here, right? Either minus one or something. But this is a cool thing. And I hope really at this particular solution is clear to everybody. Oh ho! Something was expected. Now, now done. Cool. Right. Cool here. Now this works fine. I'll submit this. Can somebody help me with the time complexity and space complexity in this particular program? Are beating good really? Probably more than everybody, right? Beating good. Can somebody help me with the time and space complexity? Sir, you are trying the code. I can't see anything. You can't see anything. But why? How is this possible? 
यार आई गेस फ्रॉम माय एंड दिस इज प्रॉपरली कूल फ्रॉम माय एंड दिस इज ओ हो हो आई गेस माय डिस्प्ले वाज फ्रीज समथिंग यार बट हाउ इज दिस पॉसिबल वेयर इज माय डिस्प्ले प्रॉपर्टीज यस डिस्प्ले कैप्चर Yeah, but how how this can happen at my end probably everything is good you are typing the code i can't see anything but at this student we a case this student we a case i'll do one thing i'll just remove this display capture once again and i'll put it back okay properties uh First, I'll make application capture, for example. Then I'll back again. I'll make display capture. Okay, that that actually was freezed, and probably, oh ho ho, that was completely freezed. Now, now I hope this is fixed. Please confirm me. Ah, uh, please confirm me now. Now, can, can you see the code? Can you see the code? I'll explain you this again. Can you see the code? That was a technical glitch. Okay, cool. Yeah. So what we are doing, what we are doing here, we are utilizing one hash map, right? For using like for storing key and value pair, we are iterating over our num array. And here, what we are doing? Tell me, we are checking in the map from here that if the particular value is available, give it to me, and I'll increase by one. But if that is not available, I'm utilizing get or default method that will give me zero if a particular value is not available in the map. So zero plus one becomes one. right and with the help of this put method we can have that frequency as one for like the if element is not available if element is available this get or default will give you that available frequency you'll increase by one you'll update your hash map so this is what we are doing from here cool cool now now here in this part what we are doing what we are doing now we have stored all the frequencies here right we need to iterate over hash map yes or no we'll iterate with the help of keys So I'm utilizing this key set method that will convert all the keys into an array, right? So now you have that array of keys. We can access one by one. I'm trying to access all the values that I've stored as a frequencies, and if any value is greater than half of the length, more than half of the length, right? In that case, in that case, we'll return that key, and that will be our output. In this example, you remember three was having the frequency of two, right? That is the more than half of its length. So in that case. The three will be your final output, and three is the key here. Right, you return it, and then, then at the end, at the end, anyhow you'll get this. But, but because this is Java, and you need to put a final return statement, right? So that's why we are making minus one. Even if this situation will never come, why? Because they are mentioned, they always exist in the array. So always you'll be working till here only. Right, there will never be a situation. But because of our return type, we are returning minus one. You can put it any value here. Cool. Any value here, and this works fine. I'll submit this code. I'll submit this code, and this beats probably nice more than everybody, right? More than everybody. So now here, now here, can somebody help me with the time and space complexity here? Somebody. Till then, I'll convert this code to C plus plus, or you need a dry run or something. Then do let me know. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. So now, yar, I, I, we don't have directly half map in 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 C plus plus. Correct, Srita. Correct. Glad to hear that you are really learning things. So very nice, very nice. So now here we will have unordered underscore map in C plus plus, right? And here we will store integer as a key, integer as a value, and the name of the map. I'm giving it map. Simply we can iterate over here, but you don't need put or get or default method in C plus plus. You can simply write map if value is available, then that's fine. Otherwise, in page y one, right by default, all the value will be zero. Cool, yar. So now that's how we are storing the frequencies. Here you don't have key set. You can iterate over the map directly. So we are iterating over here, but you will get multiple objects, right? So you cannot have here this thing. what you can have even define auto means you don't know the data type right i have already told you in the previous videos and here you will have a pair like first and second first is the key second is the value cool so here i just want to check with what tell me i just want to check pair dot uh, second right second is the frequency second is the frequency if that pair dot second is greater than more than half of its size 
right afterwards size so in that case in that case i'll return my first right first is the key here so pair dot first will be the key right and we we'll return it here otherwise we we'll return minus one but this situation will never come why because there always exists a solution right? that's what they have already mentioned now probably works works fine we'll submit this code and i hope you are you're really understanding this right? if somebody is having any kind of doubt treat it like an offline class okay treat it like an offline class i i always love to help people so and all of you are not people for me a chance for me so now chance if you have any doubt do let me know okay and here i'll go back to the python thing python code is completely different so i'll write it again here i'll have a disk that is like this map i'll give a name same as previous so i'll add it over my nums uh, list so num in nums right cool so this is how you write it over an array or list in python and here i'll check if uh if what uh, i can check a particular value like if num in where in map if this is available in this case in this case what i need to check uh i guess i don't have to check here this thing i can simply put here i can update thing right so map i just can calculate the frequency here so map num so that particular element if a particular element is available map dot gate same as same as gate or default right so if this is available give me that frequency otherwise make it return zero and increase by one so simple logic that if value is available access that value and increase by one otherwise zero plus one becomes one and you will add a new element into the map by giving the frequency as one right now cool thing here amazing amazing we have like calculated the frequency of all the elements then what you will do you will iterate over map yes or no and once you find once you find that uh, you have a particular key where the frequency is more than half of its length you return your output right so here what i can do um, probably you know i can iterate over my keys so here i will have uh, let's put key in map dot keys so that is a method basically same as java same as key set in java so that convert all the keys into an, a list so you are, you are iterating over a list you are checking if if what uh, probably i can directly check here uh, if map dot gate that key is greater than is this particular thing is greater than the more than the length of the nums that is given right like more than the length half of the length of the uh, nums in that case in that case we can return tell me what that particular key right that particular key we can return otherwise otherwise at the end we'll return for just satisfying the return type minus one right so well this should work fine here this should work fine yeah it's working fine i'll submit this particular code and i hope yeah this is quite clear to everybody okay any of python is slow but you'll submit it you'll get different different timings but this is a good solution okay this is a good solution and same time complexity and space complexity as ritha mentioned already that big of and why because you're utilizing one extra data structure and iterating only once over the your list or your vector or your array anything depending on the language right cool yeah i hope you really enjoyed this and again i request everybody that yeah those are not watching this series from starting they can go to the youtube and they can search for the prep insta like first i need to go to the youtube.com and then you can search for the prep insta and here you'll get this playlist okay so now if you'll go here you can get this playlist and you can watch you can start watching from the starting okay this complete playlist probably this will help you a lot here you will have the videos from zero to one right from starting because this series are designed like in a way that somebody don't know any kind of problem solving they're really facing challenges while solving the least code problems after the end of this particular series there's sort of that level of confidence that give me any question come on give me any question i'll solve it so this level of confidence i wanted and in the same way i've designed this which where we are covering all the important questions that have been that has been appeared in the companies first thing means interview prep completely second the problem solving that's why i'm covering multiple patterns here but i hope you really enjoyed this now see you in the next live if that is possible otherwise take care and bye bye to all bye bye to all